Alright, so I'm at the 7-Eleven. They have these wonderful little tacos in the cabinet. So, you know, the only way to properly eat 7-Eleven food is while you're still at the 7-Eleven. Definitely uh, made of corn. As you can see, the outsides are a little crispier looking and the insides a little softer. Uh, smell more like the tortilla than anything. So there's really no giveaway as to what it's made out of. Like what's in it. Is it the beans? Is it chicken? Is it beef? We'll find out. Mmm. Outside, real crispy. You can hear it crunching. But, real soft. Yeah. So it's like kind of like a Tacos Dorado. It's definitely beans. Bean and cheese. And of course the filling is mostly paste. But very delicious. Definitely would get these. If you get these, if you're at 7-Eleven, try these babies out. Get back home from 7-Eleven. We've got four kinds of uh, HERS snacks. Hers brand. That's a uh, apostrophe S people. It's possessive. These are the jalapeno, habanero, ghost pepper, and the Reaper flavors they have. They're uh, either a chiwi style snack or a chip. Uh, they they all have some nice little blurb on the back uh, about the product, and uh, they I have them in order of the uh, increasing heat of the pepper they claim that's in it. Yeah, I mean, before we get started with this, you know, uh, I already have a high uh, tolerance to peppers. Uh, so, you know, I may or may not be representing these as properly as it would be for someone who has a lower tolerance, if you will. But uh, I still will review them based on their flavor profiles as well. And uh, how much they match what the packaging says. Because you know, often I am disappointed by the level of spice that will be in them. But uh, the flavor of pepper does come through in a lot of these products. I'll start with these jalapeno poppers. These are basically a cheese curl type of snack. Uh, so, see, I can already smell it. It's as far away I can smell it. Yeah, we've got, it's like a cheese curl. You can see there's a little bit of uh, seasoning flakes you can see on it. Maybe that's the jalapeno. Did they put real jalapeno in this? Let's find out. Oh, man, immediately. Immediate jalapeno flavor. Yeah, and there's the cheese. So, it definitely tastes just like a Cheeto with jalapeno. I'm not getting any spice. Mmm, they're good. And look, powder, cheese powder, cheese powder, delicious. So, mmm, very good. But, once again, no spice. Jalapenos usually range about two to 10,000 on the Scoville scale. They're not extremely spicy, but that is spicy enough to register if they use any sizable amount. Uh, according to the bag, I don't know where it's at. Oh, there's green bell pepper powder. I found that before jalapeno. So, well, that, 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 that's probably what the green flakes were. Not jalapeno, green pepper. Way to trick us, people. Way to trick me, hers. Uh, but hey, they, here's a little, little blurb about it. They may bite back. No, they don't. Um, hers jalapeno flavored cheese curls and it might return the flavor because behind that big cheesy flavor is a zesty little pinch of jalapeno pepper. Look, I'm just going to stop right there. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but right there you can see all the dumb little lies. Uh, they're, they're, they're giving you a truth. Yes, cheesy. And they're giving you a lie. Pepper flavor. Uh, well, no, it's not true. Just no pepper spice. It doesn't have flavor. So I guess... As I'm wrong, they are, they're correct. A pinch of jalapeno pepper flavor, but not the spice. So, there we go. Oven baked with real cheese. I'll believe that, because it tastes like that. So, good job on the cheese flavor. Not so good job on the spiciness, but good job on the jalapeno flavor. So, that's two out of three ain't bad, right? For the creamy ranch. Habanero. So, habaneros are... Supposed to be about uh, 200, 250,000 Scovilles. So that's quite a bit more than what a jalapeno is supposed to be. You can see some of the spices on that. Nice. Let's see how it tastes. All right. They're nice. Immediate hit of ranch. Followed by the habanero. And I'll, oh, there, there it is. There's a little spice. A little bit of spice. There's about as much spice as I would expect from the jalapeno one, though. 
is there. So definitely got the flavors it claims it has. Uh, as you can see the bag, it says gluten-free. Gluten-free, that way I don't gotta keep reading it. You know, I was concerned about the milk part, but usually when you have dried products like this, the lactose is not an issue. Uh, but let's see, uh, do, do, do. I see paprika, uh, I see annatto. Oh, dehydrated bell pepper. They like to put the hydrated bell pepper in their product. Crazy. I see this one, though. This is that the, the I, our story kind of blurb. You know, 1946, my father, James F., blah, 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 blah. All about how they only wanted to make quality products. Good for them. All right. But, uh, you know, it is snack food. It's junk food. So I don't know how far that word quality can go. Anyway, let's get on to the next one, the ghost pepper. All right, ghost pepper flavored. It actually says hot on the bag. These are also ruffle type trip chips. And once again, you can see a little bit of green powders on it. It's gonna go on a whim here and say it's probably just bell pepper again. Ghost pepper flavor. Well, there it is. There, it took it that long, but it's there. Feel the spice. Feel the rolling down my throat. It's a little more on the habanero one. Uh, this one has far, far less ingredient label. Look how much smaller that ingredient label is. Uh, let's see if we can find where the peppers are at on this ingredient label. I see onion powder. I see garlic powder. Maltodextrin spices, including ghost chili. Okay, so it gets grouped in a group of other ingredients. So it's an ingredient within an ingredient. That's nice. And they have a nice little blurb with someone's, you know, it's signed by Ed Hur. You know, good old Ed wrote all these, uh, the chairman and CEO wrote all these little blurbs on the back. So I'm sure he did. No, he probably, probably just paid someone, just put his name on it. Uh, but it'd be nice if he did. That'd be pretty cool if he actually wrote all these little things. Now, they go on about how the ghost pepper, Butyokia, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but that's the Indian word for it. It, it basically translates to the Bhutanese pepper. Boot as in Bhutanese and Jalokia as in their word for pepper. Uh, so it was the first pepper to ever break 100,000 Scoville heat units. That's true, but you know the sad thing about it, they even, they even go on to tell you in here that it originated north, what, Northeast India. All right, so here's the thing. It originated Northeast India. It had always been a million Scoville people. I'm sorry. Like you can look up the record of what the hottest pepper were, and it's nothing but a history of Anglo's discovering the hot peppers and forgetting that other people's histories matter. All right, they've been having this million pep uh, Scoville pepper even when the habanero and the Scotch bonnets were called the hottest pepper in the world. Okay, this pepper already existed. It's just that it wasn't in the minds of the people at Guinness yet. So basically, yeah, white people hadn't discovered it yet, so it doesn't exist. All right. Anyway, let's go on to the next one, which is the Carolina Reaper flavor. All right, so Reaper flavor is another chewy looking thing. Look at that. All right, let's try these out. All right, so you can immediately see the difference here. There's no green peppers on it, no big green flakes. It's kind of like some reddish brown flakes all over it. So yeah, maybe that's, maybe it's Reaper? I doubt it. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Still has the cheesiness like the um, jalapenos did. And definitely, definitely has some spice to it. Oh yeah, it's kicking already. I kind of like it. Mm, really nice. Really nice. Um, back to the long ingredient list again. Carolina Reaper is all the way at the bottom, mix of smoke flavor. So I showed you how much they actually had to put into it. And they get their little blurb on the side. Uh, they go on about it was the first pepper to hit 1.5 million Scoville heat units, blah, blah, blah. Uh, maybe they don't say anything about Ed Curry in it, the guy who was credited with creating the Carolina Reaper, which is uh, very interesting. Um, I do actually grow some of these peppers myself uh, when I can. They are, they are a wonderful addition in a spice mix. Um, but who knows? Maybe one day I'll eat one on camera. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends on how I feel. But either way, so yeah, these are these are all pretty good. They were okay. Um, they're a little, a little, a little better than I expected to be honest. Um, I kind of expected completely nothing out of any of them because I've had it happen before, um, and at most maybe a, best maybe like a little bit out of the Reaper. 
So, I mean, I do give them, give them credit for the habanero pepper uh, flavored creamy ranch one to actually taste like they put, like, taste like they put some spices in it. And like I said, I've got high tolerance to, to spice, so, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they'll be spicier for you. Uh, definitely, if you're at 7-Eleven, it's definitely one to pick up. Uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't pass it up unless they have Pocky. That's actually what I was there for 7-Eleven for. I was there for the Pocky. Uh, they, every once in a while, have the One Chip Challenge, or they'll have, like, the actual bags of Pocky ghost pepper. I like that one's pretty good. But they had this her stuff, and I, you know, I was like, well, let's try this out. Uh, but either way, if you like what I'm doing, if you like me reviewing these foods, just go ahead and hit like and subscribe, uh, and, and leave a comment. Comments help the alg algorithm too. If you have any uh, suggestions, go ahead and uh, leave that in the comments. Uh, if you want to send me anything, I'm, I'm down for that as long as it's going to be gluten-free. Otherwise, I won't be able to eat it. Uh, but anyway, I'm Blake Eberzabel, and that's my food review for today. Enjoy.